Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. This is an abnormal accessory conduction pathway via the bundle of cant of impulse transmission from atria to ventricle. So, this is a congenital defect. The bundle of Kent is usually seen between the left atria and left ventricle, but it may be also found between the right atria, right ventricle. It can short circuit the usual delay of ventricular conduction in the AV node. This pre excites a segment of the ventricle and produces a delta wave on EKG just before a normal QRS. The delta wave outlines the short PR interval and widened QRS. So, most important feature in our EKG or ECG is the delta wave just before normal QRS. Okay, this is a section of the heart. We are saying this is the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node, bundle of his branch of the bundle. Then we have the Purkinje fiber here, Purkinje fiber here. This is an abnormal connection. This is the bundle of Kent. This is a congenital bundle here okay so what happened due to this can't bundle impulse can go from atria to the ventricle normally it goes through that we have another source of impulse from atria to ventricle via the can't bundle but this tissue has the capacity to transmit impulse from the ventricle to the atria also. So both way it can go. Okay. So WBW syndrome is a congenital disorder. This is present only 0.15 to 0.25% of population. Among them, only a few percentages will be symptomatic. Many, many cases are asymptomatic. Clinical feature may be entirely normal, palpitation, syncope or near syncope, rarely is sudden cardiac death, types of tachycardia, this is very common feature, tachycardia in clinical presentation, who has the symptom, supraventricular tachycardia, including atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia. Okay, if you look at the EC, this is the P wave, then it should be the Q R S T. Okay, what happens here? We have the delta wave, it doesn't go in that direction, going this way, and this is the delta. Normal tracing if the delta wave were not present, this should be normal tracing, but our case is a case of the WPW syndrome. We have an additional pathway. That's why we're getting this delta. Okay. And there will be widening of the QRS. So, this is the types of tachycardia. This is the clinical feature. Rarely sudden cardiac death. Tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter and ventricular tachycardia. Complication, a person with WPW syndrome, that is the Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, can develop paroxysmal tachycardia. Only a few percentage has that. Problem, most of the cases, this go without any symptom. And it is more common in the younger population than that of the older population. Little more in the male than that of 
the female. Mechanism of paroxysmal tachycardia, we have why this happen. Number one, repeat conduction, supraventricular tachycardia, including atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, can go to the ventricle very rapidly, causing dangerous tachycardia. Some bundle of can't have autorhythmic foci for paroxysmal tachycardia. Third mechanism, ventricular depolarization may immediately re-stimulate the atria via the bundle of cat. That is also possible. Okay. So, wolf parkinson white syndrome, what should be the diagnostic test? Certainly ECG, some books say EKG, we like to say ECG, echocardiogram to find out any other abnormality in the heart because full Parkinson white syndrome patient has usually normal heart but it may be associated with that of mitral valve prolapse or abstinent anomaly okay so it may have those or other anomalies and also by echocardiogram we can find out the bundle of cat okay so ecg echocardiogram and we must rule out the person has no mitral valve polyps and he has no epstein epstein anomaly management consultation with a cardiologist medication that will be also be prescribed and determined by the cardiologist usually use the quinidine, procainamide, adenosine. Some drugs are contraindicated like that of calcium chain blocker, diltigium, like that of the digoxin, okay. So the cardiac glycoside, these are contraindicated, okay. So if you look at the ECG finding, okay, and treatment, one of the treatment is that radio frequency ablation of the bundle of Kent, that additional pathway should be taken out. Okay, in ECG finding, what we get? Shortened PR interval. PR interval is shortened. Okay. Wide QRS complex. Okay, wide QRS complex. Usually in antidromic reentrant tachycardia we have another one is orthodromic reentrant tachycardia in that condition we'll get qrs narrower in antidromic reentrant atrioventricular tachycardia the qrs com complex should be widened which widen like this okay presence of delta wave we got the delta wave this is a delta okay this area is the delta st t wave changes so here this is p q r okay p q r s t okay so these are abnormal okay we got that And that's all about the WPW syndrome. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.